holy crap i really need a haircut god damn <laughs> ah covid what are you gonna do hey everyone so today we're just gonna do like a different kind of video i think we're just gonna take a look at my desk um and as for any any desk tour video i think we gotta put in the obligatory uh lo-fi hip-hop music background music that's not what i wanted Uh, I've had this this sort of desk set up for around, you know, the past past year and a half ish, and um, it's I think it's reached a point where I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. So I'm I thought I'd like to show you guys what I have, what I use to make music and edit videos and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get started. So let's start with the very like sort of I guess the uh, core components of the setup. So first of all, we got my MacBook Air. No, what the fuck? First of all, we got my laptop. It's a 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro uh, with a D brand purple skin on it. <laughs> uh, very nice skin. Uh, specs, spec wise, it's got a uh, six core i7 and uh, Radeon Pro 555X. And most importantly, it has 32 gigs of RAM. And that's super important when it comes to, you know, making music and, you know, stuff like that. Cause you need lots of RAM for all your instruments and plugins and stuff like that. Um, just so that they can run on uh, like big projects and stuff like that. I've had projects crash before and Logic which is just wouldn't run because uh, I didn't have enough RAM for for like all my plugins and software instruments and stuff like that. But that's my Mac. Let's move on. So to the right of me I have the first generation iPad Pro and that's a hand-me-down from my dad and the uh, thing you might notice immediately is how cracked the screen is. Um, it's been through a lot. I've dropped it <laughs> more times I like to admit. I mean obviously it's cracked as hell so yeah and I play lots of rhythm games on it but basically I use it as a secondary monitor uh, running uh, the software Duet and I can use it as like a touch screen and all that stuff it's very nice. So yeah okay let's move on from that so to the left of me I have my audio interface which is basically my center for all my audio stuff all my uh, you know all audio routing stuff and stuff like that. So, so this is the Roland Octa Capture interface, and um, it's got lots of inputs. It's got eight inputs, and what I also find very useful about it is that it has built-in compression. So, I find it very useful for when I'm like streaming stuff. I can just compress the mic, uh, give it a nice audio leveling. It just makes streaming a lot easier, and um, also it helps with um, you know. Uh, recording vocals and stuff like that. I don't have to run as many plugins after the fact. Like I said, it has eight channels and I only use, and I use six of them. Two channels are for an aux cable. One channel is for this mic that I will get into a bit later. And then I have one channel for DI for guitar and two channels for my Helix, which I'll get into a bit later. So moving on, um, as for my speaker monitors, uh, I use the Atom Audio A3Xs. What kind of sucks is that they don't, they're not very useful in this room because this room has a resonant, very strong resonant frequency of 146 hertz. So that just makes um, mixing extremely difficult in here. So I mainly just use this for monitoring some stuff when I don't want to use my earphones. There's three inch speakers, so they don't have that much reach in the bass, but I think they're perfectly fine. Just not in this room. Uh, down at my feet, it's not really part of my desk setup. It's uh, I have it on uh, like a tiny foot rest uh, that I got from IKEA. It is my Line Six Helix LT. It is my favorite thing ever. It has um, it has all my tones and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's 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 great. It's Line Six Helix LT. You guys have heard it many times. So let's move on. And um, as as you guys have noticed, uh, I have my laptop on a laptop stand. Uh, just so I don't have horrible posture. I'm not always hunched over, you know, um, with my with my neck and all broken and stuff. So um, because it's on a laptop stand, I need external um, keyboards and mice. So as for keyboard, I have this Keychron K8. Um, I've actually just been waiting for this to arrive before I actually start making this video because um, it was after I got this keyboard that I was really satisfied with my desk setup. So it's a mechanical keyboard. Uh, it has uh, brown switches and it's very nice, satisfying to the ear, like... I love the way it sounds. Um, but yeah, 
And as for my mouse, I have the Logitech MX Master 2. You can't really see it. That's fine. I'll have a B-roll shot of it, whatever. But yeah, it's very comfortable on the hand and I love the side um, horizontal scrolling that it has uh, on the thumb. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so that's sort of the uh, core components of the main setup. Let's move on to like the accessories of my desk setup. The first thing I want to talk about is my Seagate 2 terabyte hard drive. So um, I use that to back up all my projects, like music projects, uh, video projects, like stuff like this. Um, it's like the perfect size, two terabytes is just, just about big enough. I'm, I'm close to maxing it up, but then I also clear it uh, frequently when I don't need to keep backups of stuff anymore. I, will, I also back up stuff onto, onto Google Drive using Google Backup and Sync, and I have two terabytes on that as well, so that's very useful. Moving on from the hard drive, I have a USB hub, because uh, MacBook Pro, you know how Apple is with USB-C, so uh, I, had, I need to have a USB hub so I can run a bunch of stuff in there. In the USB hub, I have the receiver for my mouse. I have a Cubase key. Um, I don't really use Cubase often, but I use Cubase um, when I want to use when I want to comp takes. I find it very useful for comping. Logic kind of sucks when it comes to comping, but um, and I also have just a random USB-C charging cable um, that I use to charge my laptop, my power bank, my AirPods Pros or whatever. And um, I also have the uh, 128 gig USB flash drive, uh, but I don't leave it plugged in just because it gets really hot. Uh, one thing on this, on this desk that you might notice that might stand out a bit is I have a CD player. I love playing CDs. It's not, it's not necessarily because I think CDs sound any better, but I love the process of taking out a CD of its case and like, you know, and putting in the CD and just kind of sitting back and listening to music. Like when I put in a CD, it kind of feels like I'm, you know, I'm actually actively going to listen to music now. Um, and that's why I have a CD player. It's just an Asus CD player. It's also a uh, Blu-ray uh, drive player, but um, I don't really use it for that function. But yeah, it's a CD player and, I, and, I, and it's nice. And then underneath my laptop, my underneath my laptop stand, I have a Philips Hue light ball, or I don't, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a Philips Hue, and I just use it for like mood lighting, um, especially during nighttime when I don't turn on my lights. Um, I just use it to create nice ambience and stuff like that. And then towards the right of me, I always keep this by my side. Is my 64 audio in your monitors? As I've mentioned, this room is terrible for mixing, so whenever I want to mix in here. I mix on these all the time. They're great, they're, they're custom molded to my ears. I made a video about it, it's not that good, but give it a watch if you want. But uh, yeah, I love these so much. It's my 64 audio in-ear monitors. Moving on from that, I also have a boom arm and a microphone. So uh, boom arm is just a random one I found for really cheap on Amazon. And this microphone is the Sennheiser E935. And I, it's a very nice dynamic microphone meant for vocals and stuff like that. And I use it when I stream and stuff like that. So it sounds perfectly fine for what I need to use it for. Um, obviously there's better stuff out there, but I don't plan on upgrading. I mean, it works perfectly fine. So there's no need to upgrade it, right? So my speakers are rested on these foam pads and on the foam pads, I have my Apple watch. It's a first generation Apple watch. I just keep it charging on the side. I fashioned a very uh, nice cable route for the charging um, puck or whatever you want to call it. So I can just dump it on there and let it charge and it's very nice. I like to keep my watch on there just because whenever I want to check on the time I can just hit the table really hard and the time will flash up and I know what time it is. And um, also on, on the topic of Apple and stuff like that, uh, on my left I also have my iPhone. It's cracked as fuck, but it's fine. It works fine. It's an iPhone 8. Yeah, nothing much else to say about it. Resting underneath my iPhone 8, I have the Xiaomi battery bank and charging pad. I got it uh, right before I came back to the UK because I never had a battery bank before, but um, this one was extremely cheap. Uh, it was like, what, 100 Hong Kong dollars? So uh, it's a lot cheaper than what you would think it to be. So that's sort of like the sort of accessories I have on my desk. And finally, we come to all the uh, random crap I have on my desk um, that don't really serve much function other than just how I like to keep it on my desk. Uh, first things first, is it pretentious that I'm calling AirPods Pros random crap? To be fair, it is just random crap on my desk, but um, I don't use it when I'm at the desk. I only use it when I go outside because when I'm at the desk, I have my in-ear monitors, but I just like to keep it at my desk because it's easy to reach there. I got those secondhand. They sound very nice and the active noise cancelling is very nice. 
Moving on, other random crap. I have this cat cup. It was a birthday gift from from a friend of mine, and yeah, I just have it filled with water all the time, and it's great. It's it's very cute as well. <sighs> Moving on, more more random crap. I have this face mask folder. Um, it's very useful, you know. COVID's got a COVID, so you know. Uh, rather than just stuffing my face mask into my pocket. I stuff it into a folder um, because if you stuff it into a pocket, you could risk, you know, getting it contaminated with stuff. So and it would lose the purpose of being a face mask. That's why I have a face mask folder. So yeah, very useful. I recommend everyone getting one. And then uh, stuffed in that corner over there, I just have um, my cameras and lenses. The camera I have is a Canon 700D, and I have the kit lenses as well as a 50 millimeter lens that. Um, I got for really cheap. I think it was 500 Hong Kong dollars. I think that's cheap. My friend told me it's cheap when I bought it. It's super handy. I love that lens so much. And then towards that side, I also have a bunch of CDs and magazines. Like I said, I love playing CDs. So I have just a CD collection over there. I have a much bigger collection back in Hong Kong, but um, this is the collection that I have built up here while I'm in the UK. And what you may also notice amongst all those CDs is I have my light stick. Um, or King Blade or some, whatever you call it. Uh, the reason I have it is there's been a lot more online concerts going on this year, so gotta show my my my, my participation or whatever, even even behind a screen. Um, but yeah, <laughs> moving on back to underneath my laptop, I have my guitar picks, and uh, the guitar picks I play are the uh, Dunlop John Petrucci signature guitar picks. I think these are outdated now because uh, I think he has a new signature pick with Dunlop but um, I love this one uh, particularly. It has a nice grip to it and has a nice size and it feels very nice. Um, there's also a Jackal Pun signature guitar pick. Uh, this one is so faded that you can't even see his logo anymore. Yeah, literally, it's it's just a blank, it's just a black pick now. But um, he was my guitar teacher at, uh, for a couple of years, and he just gave me gave me his picks. So yeah, but yeah, that's about it. That's about it for my desk setup. Um, now comes the hard part where I have to shoot all the uh, B roll and edit this clip down from being twenty five minutes uh, to something a bit shorter. So. Um, I'll have fun doing that, but thanks for tuning in, everyone. Here's a quick teaser for the next upload. I'll see you guys in the next two weeks. Bye.